it's a baseball, you know, it's some cowhide, it's some red thread. What's the big deal, right? When I've been out in the outfield, when a player's been sitting on a milestone, I have to convince myself to believe that A, he will hit the ball, and B, I will catch it. You basically have to map out every variable, every route. If the ball were to land anywhere around you, you have to imagine what your route will be to that spot and what it would take for you to get your hands on it. My heart races so hard, so fast. It's like the rest of the world doesn't even exist. And you just feel like catching this ball will change your life. I'm Zach Hampel, and I've snagged more baseballs in the stands at Major League Stadiums than anyone. Back goes Judge, looking up, and it's out of here. Judge couldn't catch it, but that guy did. Yeah, Zach Hampel, he is either famous or notorious, depending on your point of view. But he seems to have a knack for being in the right place at the right time. Catching a home run during a game is the ultimate thrill for me as a baseball fan and collector. When I see the ball released from the pitcher's hand, the next thing it touches is the batter's bat, and the next thing it touches is my glove. That's such an awesome feeling. I feel like I'm the 10th fielder. I feel like I'm connected to the game. I feel like I'm out there somehow. Hi, I'm Zach Hampel. I was chosen to my high school all-star team, which is the highest honor. I hope you enjoy this tape. I feel like I should have been a baseball player. That was always my dream. And so for me, in a way, this is how I can get close to the game. I don't just want to be a spectator. I want to be a participant. This ball has given me 1,000 consecutive games with at least one baseball, a streak that started on September 10th, 1993. Mm. Everything you see here is not even half of what I've caught in my life. In 1939, when he was 13 years old, my dad was a ball boy for a minor league team. The team used to give him all the old baseballs. He had hundreds of them. And I was like, great, where are they? Let's go play with them or let me see them. And he's like, well, I didn't save them. Maybe that kind of explains the madness behind this collection. Somehow I'm getting my hands on a baseball every single time I go. I think it's about feeling special and beating the odds. That's me. Being recognized by the best pitcher on the planet is kind of cool. I don't think I'll ever get over that. Oh, there it is. Number 7,000, baby. For many, many years of my life, I just wanted one. And then I got more than 100 balls just during the 1992 season alone, and I changed my lifetime goal to 1,000, which I did in 1996. All right, now what? At this point, I have to keep going and reach 10,000 balls. Nobody's ever gotten 10,000 before, so that's kind of fun to even imagine getting that far. I went to hundreds and hundreds of baseball games as a kid just trying to get a ball. I maybe got two or three in 12 years, and I was there a lot. So I don't know how he does it, but I'll give him credit for knowing where to be. Luck is the residue of design, according to Branch Rickey, one of my favorite quotes. Anybody can do it if you just take the time to learn how it works. I always attend batting practice. I try to be the first one to enter the stadium. I always bring a glove. I have a hat and shirt of all 30 major league teams, and I always dress up for the team that's on the field. Dame la pelota, por favor. Choto, but uruan nagate kudasai. Kong, just sail. Lance moi la bal, s'il vous plaît. I've learned how to ask for baseballs in many different languages. Give me the ball, please. 
I've been going to about 100 games a year for the last few years, and I'm averaging seven or eight balls a game. So many baseballs get used every day in every stadium. So why should any one of them be special? You know, just any random batting practice ball might not be that incredible in the grand scheme of things, but catch a superstar player's first home run or someone's 500th or their 3,000th hit, that's the story of a lifetime. I caught Mike Trout's first career home run in 2011. Who caught the ball? It's a young man by the name of Zach Hample, a guy who for years has been catching foul balls and home run balls throughout different major league stadiums. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Well, they will put the new baseballs in play. Those are marked up. He's got six games at home to try to get one more hit to get the 3,000. June 19th, 2015, looked up and A-Rod was sending his 3,000th hit sailing in my direction. It missed my glove. I just looked down right where I was standing and the ball was on the very step that I was standing on, practically touching my right sneaker, not even moving, just sitting there. 18,000 men have played Major League Baseball. Only 29 have had 3,000 hits, and Alex Rodriguez now joins the club. I don't believe in fate or karma, but there's just something really weird going on. Like, it almost gives me chills. When I think about these big moments, it's kind of fishy how I keep getting opportunities to catch these huge milestone home run balls. I was at that game, of course. You know, and we saw it on the replay, and you see it was coming to him. Like, oh my god, I think I recognize that guy. Oh my god. Only A-Rod could find uh, a famous fan for his uh, milestone hit. There are a lot of wonderful, amazing, positive people out there, and there are some real haters out there. The guy who caught the ball in the outfield, what a clown he is. And he's written books about how he's caught home runs. What a dope. Who's going to pay attention to him? This guy's going to tell you what an art form it is to catch the baseballs? I mean, you got to be kidding me. You know, he's not hurting anybody. Why he's a divisive character and why some people dislike him or dislike the idea of him. Theoretically, they could go to anyone, but they're all going to you. I'd like to present to you your 3,000th hit baseball. Who would have thunk that one swing of the bat would create so much attention, but more importantly, such a generous donation to benefit your wonderful organization. Thank you, Zach, for being uh, such a passionate fan. Sometimes a little too passionate, <laughs> but we need more fans in baseball, and you're uh, a good example of that. I go to baseball games. I catch baseballs. I want this to be fun and happy and positive. It's baseball. It's America's pastime. Welcome to the 2017 Major League Baseball season. Career baseball number 10,000. I really think this is the season. Anybody can get lucky once, maybe even twice. Sure, there are certain baseballs that came right to me and, wow, that was so lucky, you were just in the right spot. Well, you know, maybe I strategically chose that spot. Maybe I was in that spot for 20 games and nothing happened in the previous 19 and then they hit one to me. It's almost impossible to sit in a good spot all year, day after day, and not catch any balls. Like, it's just going to happen. I've been on the road this entire baseball season more than I've been home. Here we go, 237 balls away from 10,000. There's Zach Campbell again. He is the living legend of catching home run balls in every ballpark. Oh. Hey, you want it? 10 away from 10,000. I told my one son to ask him what he's going to do with that 10,000th ball. I'm going to try and get as many as I can, but I don't think I'll ever be as good as Zach. Some people call him a ball hog or whatever, but honestly, he got some fair and square. You have really just a ball hawking community of people. I don't think any of this could have happened without Zach. 10,000 is a big number, and there's 
people asking him every day, how far are you away? When are you gonna get there? Where are you gonna be? I wanna see it live. I checked out, it's a big one. So I'm five away right now. I'm feeling it, man. I can't believe this moment is finally here. Woo! I mean, it could easily happen tomorrow. Camden Yards has been my favorite stadium since I first set foot in the place. And I've intentionally not gotten any of my thousandth balls in Baltimore because I've been saving it for 10,000. You think they're gonna play this thing tonight? They're, yeah, they're gonna try, man. It's, it's gonna clear up. I need a ball here. I'm three away from 10,000. Oh and God. I don't have any today. Nothing? No. Come on. There were no players out. You get your 10,000 ball? Not yet, hopefully tonight. I don't really want the pressure of having to get three balls during the game in order to reach the milestone. So, just gotta wait. Thank you. Thanks. Oh! Mene! Thank you. Manny Machado, 9999. Nine, nine, nine. I need one more for 10,000. So here we go. It's showtime. Pick up your copies today. There it is. Oh my God. After all that, there it is, number 10,000 thrown by a future Hall of Famer, Robinson Cano. That's kind of cool, actually. I feel like, in a way, 10,000 balls is a better achievement than any one particular ball that I got. 10,000 balls, there's no way to stumble into that. People have been asking me, what's next after you get 10,000? I might slow down my pace at some point soon, but then again, maybe not. Remembering how special it was to get one ball, 10,000 feels a little excessive. Well, I think Zach is at a point now where he's going to examine for himself. He's going to rethink things, and he may go say, I've just rethought it, and I'm going to continue. Or, I've thought things up, and I'm going to do this. I can't say to him, you may not do this anymore. It has to come from him. He's a grown-up. He has to know when it's enough. I don't know if I will ever stop doing this. I don't know that I'm going to necessarily attend an average of three or four games a week for the next 50 or 60 years. But it's hard for me to imagine a day when I won't like baseball. And if I like baseball, I'm probably going to want to go to the occasional game. And if I'm going to a game, why would I not show up early for batting practice and bring my glove?